All right, today's lesson objective, students solve multi-step inequalities. So we've done multi-step equations. We're going to do the same thing with multi-step inequalities. So for example one, I've got 45 plus 2B is greater than 61. So if I want to get the B alone, what's the opposite of adding 45? Subtracting 45. So we subtract 45 from both sides. Then I have 2B is greater than 11 minus 5, 6, 16, yes. So 2B is greater than 16. The B isn't alone yet, though, so what do I need to do? Divide by 2 to get the B alone, because the opposite of multiplication is division. All right, and then we get B is greater than 8. And then to graph it, yes, you would just... Is this one going to be an open or a closed circle? Open circle. And going to the right. Okay. So any question on that? It's just like when we did equations. It's just now we have an inequality symbol. Okay. All right. On your whiteboards then, I would like you to attempt this one. Okay, so you had um, 8 minus 3y is greater than or equal to 29. So when you subtracted 8 from both sides, you got negative 3 is greater than or equal to negative 21. And then you have to divide by a negative 3. And when you divide by a negative, what's that mean? When you divide by a negative, what do we have to do? We have to switch the symbol around. And so some of you forgot that step. And so this one would be a closed circle going to the left. All right, this one's for your notes. You want to remember that a fraction bar is a grouping symbol. So 1 minus 2n is a group that's being divided by 3. So the opposite of division is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply by 3 on both sides. That way the threes cancel out on the left, and I'm left with just 1 minus 2n is greater than or equal to 21. So I've got a positive one. The opposite of that would be negative 1. So I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. Be really careful. Don't drop your negatives. That's a negative 2n, not just 2n. So be careful when you guys do these. You get 2n is greater than or equal to 20, and then last thing to do is divide by... I'm dividing by negative 2, right? So what does that mean I have to do the symbol? Flip it. Flip it over. So n is then less than or equal to negative 10. Open or closed circle? Closed circle, going left or right? Going to the left. All right, so you guys get to do this one on your whiteboards. X plus 5 all divided by negative 2 is greater than 3. Okay, so I'm seeing several of you making the same mistake. On the first step, what do we do? We're multiplying by negative 2. If I multiply by a negative, what do I have to do to the inequality symbol? you got to flip it over. So a lot of you are forgetting to do that. Okay? All right. And then from that point, you would subtract 5. That's the Indian question. Okay, so you get x is less than negative 11, so it would be an open circle going to the left. All right. Yes, you're going to have problems with fractions. 
but we still can do fraction busting. So what is the lowest common denominator for 3 and 2? 6. They both go into 6. So that means I can multiply everything times 6. And again, we're only multiplying it on top, not on the bottom. Okay? Some of you have been multiplying the top and bottom. But we want to get rid of the fractions, so we're only multiplying on top. All right, so if I go through and see what cancels out, 3 goes into 6 how many times? 2 times. 2 goes into 6 3 times. And then 3 into 6 2 times. So now if I look at what I have going across, I've got 2 times 2 times F. That's 4F. And now I've just got a 3 is greater than 1 times 2, which is 2. Now I subtract the 3 from both sides. I get 4F is greater than negative 1. And my last step, divide by 4. So F is greater than negative 1 fourth. Okay, I divided by a positive 4, so that's why I didn't flip the symbol around, okay? And then um, 0, 1. So negative 1 fourth would be right there. And this one's going to be open or closed. Open circle. Left or right? Going to the right. Yes. Okay, so now you guys have one for your whiteboards. Again, uh, multiply everything by the GCF, which is what? It's 6 again on this one. Multiply everything by the greatest common factor and do your fraction busting. The answer will have a fraction, though, so don't freak out about it. Okay, so it looks like most of you did okay on this one. You had to multiply everything by 6. And when you did that, you got 2n plus 3 was less than 4, subtracted the 3, divided by 2, n was less than 1 half, open circle going to the left. All right, and one more for your notes. Okay, now I have to simplify it. I've got to take care of that exponent, and I've got parentheses. So what do you call it when you multiply with the parentheses? Distributive property, right? So we're going to distribute. So what is 2 cubed, or 2 to the third power? 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And when I distribute, I get negative 2 times 3, which is negative 6. And negative 2 times negative t gives me a positive 2t. All right, I want to get the numbers together. I want to get two, the t by itself. So I'm going to add 6 to both sides. And I get 14 is less than 2t, and so we divide by 2. And I get 7 is less than t. And again, before you graph it, write it the other way around. t is greater than 7. And that way you're less likely to make an error when you're graphing it. So this one would be an open circle going to the right. Any questions? All right. Here's one more for your whiteboards. Okay, so most of you did fine on that. Again, the only mistake that I saw consistently was a few people forgot to flip the sign when they divided by the negative 2. But otherwise, um, most of you had x was less than or equal to negative 4. Closed circle going to the left. All right, so now we've got a... Oops, I didn't clear the ink on that one. All right, so now we've got a word problem. To win a blue ribbon in the heaviest pumpkin, the average weight of John's two pumpkins must be greater than 819 pounds. One weighs 887 pounds. What could the second pumpkin weigh? Write and solve an inequality. Okay, so when I want to average two numbers, how do I average them? I add them up and then divide by 2. So that's what we would do if we were averaging John's two pumpkins. So his first one was 887. 
And I don't know what the other one is, right? So I'll just put P for pumpkin. And then, after I add them, I would have to divide by 2 to get their average, right? Okay, so it has to be, the average has to be greater than 819. So can it be equal to 819? No, it has to be more, okay? So greater than 819. So that's the inequality you would write to solve the problem. And then to solve it, now I've got a group that's being divided by 2. So what's the opposite of division? Opposite is multiplication. So we multiply both sides by 2. And that way the fraction goes away on the left. So now I've got 887 plus P is greater than 1638. So that's 2 times 819, right? All right, now to get the P alone, only one thing left to do, subtract 887. And so when I subtract, I get the P would be greater than 751. And that would be pounds. Okay, so as long as his other pumpkin is more than 751 pounds, then he'll win the blue ribbon. Okay, questions? All right, you guys have a similar one to do. You don't need to write the words down, just figure out an inequality. So before you solve it, show me what your inequality would look like. Okay, so a couple of you had problems setting it up, but most of you had it right. He already got 95, plus he's going to get something else. Averaging, we divide by 2. It has to be greater than or equal to 90. It's okay if it equals exactly 90, so that's why it's greater than or equal to. Okay, so finish solving it. Okay, so when you solved it, you would have multiplied by 2 and then subtracted the 95. X is greater than or equal to 85. 